Hello students, I welcome you all in my channel Chemistry and Mystery of Molecules. I am Dr. Tanmay Vishash. So today we will discuss an important topic that is related to aromaticity which is cyclopentadienyl anion. Okay. Previously I have discussed about the cyclopentadienyl cation which is anti-aromatic. But this is aromatic. So a lot of chemistry to be learned. First of all, today's talk will cover few points like its aromaticity, stabilization, second aromaticity as well as acidity, another is zwitterionic structure, different zwitterionic structure and associated property like dipole moment, aromatic electrophilic substitution etc. So lots of chemistry to be learned in this video. So let's start. As you can see, Cyclopentadiene is this molecule. Okay, so there are two proton. So if you remove one proton using some, you can consider base. This cyclopentadienyl anion is generated. For that, you can take potassium plus or sodium plus as a counter. Okay, so this is so actually this is a five carbon unit. But I am telling its aromaticity. How I can say that? Because according to Buchel number, see, this is cyclic, planar, conjugated, and the most important and fourth point, 4n plus 2 number of pi electrons. Where they are? See, 2 from here to here and to here. So this is the 6 pi electron. Actually it has 6 pi electron. That is the reason it is aromatic. And what happens if I draw the first diagram. This is first diagram. So how to fill the electron? To here, to here and to here. 6 electron. So from this drawing you can understand that the cyclopentadienyl anion is stable because all the electrons are in bonding orbital because this is energy of non-bonding orbital or p orbital that is alpha it is below so it means it is stabilized so that is the reason that it prefers to form when it has charge in spite of having a negative charge because this is actually a carbon ion but better to say this is resonance stabilized carbon ion so this is, please keep this term in mind, this is resonance stabilized carbon ion. Usually carbon ions are not stable, but if they are resonance stabilized, they are stable. In this case, I want to give one example, that is triphyletic acid. I have made a dedicated video about it. What is triphyletic acid? This is O2CF3 thrice and this is actually a super acid. What is acting as a super acid? This CH bond because the corresponding carbon ion is resonance stabilized. That is the reason it's acting as a super acid. I have already made a dedicated video about it. Please visit if you want. So this is a resonance stabilized carbon ion. Okay. So as I told that this has a unique stabilization and it's aromatic means it's one to form. So question any real life comparison or example do I have? We yeah. have. See this molecule which has a pKa around 22.6 but this diphenylmethane has a pKa 32 pKa for which proton? this proton is there 2 proton and here also 2 proton so what is the conjugated base means actually this is acidic means proton it is giving protons so what is the conjugated base? the conjugated base is this so when there is a question of acidity means this is more acidic compared to this question why so when you have given a question about acidity you must think the stability of the conjugate base okay so this is the stability this is the conjugate base so what is their stability difference see actually both are resonance stabilized how by the point of in involvement of 1 and 1 to phenyl ring, fine. This is actually a benzylic. 
this is also an enzymatic but difference is this bond and see this part this part is actually a cycloprinted dienyl anion which is resonance stabilized and that is the factor for its pk 22.6 whereas the corresponding this diphenyl anion 32 okay so this is the uh, overall about the aromaticity so let's discuss some other example in order to have a complete knowledge on this topic okay let's discuss these two example these two examples are also related to its acidity what see if you take this cyclo pentadiene and react with potassium in benzene what it result it resulted the potassium salt of cyclo pentadiene this minus k plus why because this proton is sufficiently acidic because of its corresponding base stabilization due to aromaticity and i have written in this but i i suggest you instead of that it is better to represent this molecule in this way because it is involved in the resonance means in this way so negative charge is here double bond is here here a plus so there are other chemical forms also so in this way the whole charge is delocalized so I, I suggest it is better to represent in this way because the charge is delocalized fine now question i have taken benzene then why potassium is reacting with this uh, sp3 high carbon hydrogen bond compared to benzene because if you look at benzene benzene actually looks like this and this is a sp2 hydrogen generally we consider that sp2 is more acidic than sp3 because this is sp3 but why this is because its unique reactivity that is the aromaticity that is the reason why so under this potash condition first potassium will react with this if excess benzene is there then is a different story what it can be but this is taken in a measured amount so it react with this thing and it's stabilized okay okay similarly if you take this ethyl magnesium bromide is actually Brignard reagent. We know Brignard can act as both nucleophile as base. Here Brignard is acting as base. What happened? This C2H5 minus abstracting this proton and ultimately resulting this cyclopentadienyl minus magnesium bromide. Okay. Plus C2H6, which goes outside. So it also reacts with Brignard. To prepare the corresponding actually it's a Grignard exchange reaction what message i want to give if you compare the basicity of c2h5 minus versus this this is less basic more stabilized that's why Grignard shifted equilibrium in this side similar one example you have seen that is for terminal alkyne and if you take mix this Grignard ultimately what it result this terminal alkyne this terminal alkyne Grignard plus C2H6. Okay, means it's magnesium bromide if you take. So this Grignard. So this similar type of reactivity you may consider for this. Okay. Okay. So let's discuss some Zwitterionic thing. Okay. As you can see here, now we are going to discuss about the Zwitterionic form of this molecule. Okay. Zwitterionic means Zwitterionic means a molecule contain both positive and negative part. One of the example is amino acid. You may think that CO2 minus NH3 plus. This is glycine. Similar. So plus charge is one side, minus charge is one side. Fine. Similarly, cyclopentadiene can also give. So what is the general structure expected? That one part is minus attached with some molecule having plus charge. Okay, and when this type of thing is there, there are many things also. What? For example, since this is a sweet ionic thing, so there is a type of moment. Okay, so this sweet molecule has relatively high dipole moment that is new. So this thing we will discuss first what type of sweet ionic thing are possible. So different type of sweet ionic thing possible, for example. You may have pyridine based. What do I mean? So the cyclopentadienyl, this part is thin, 
along with that pyridinium salt pyridinium attachment see this attachment is through the nitrogen lone pair which is in sp2 orbital so this is actually a sp2 bond please don't be confused similar so like that you may have another like triphenyl phosphine derivative so you may consider that vitic type fine similar another is possible that is diazonium derivative see this all cationic part they are stable enough and you know normally they pref they can stabilize in this form okay so this so in this way this this three type of possible so lots of things we learn. So before going to detail, let's discuss about this question. It will give us a good idea. Let's start. see. So first, if you react this cyclopentadiene with bromine, a dibromide is formed. Then react with pyridine, some another product is formed. Then react with al alkali, what is formed? Obviously, think since I am discussing this, you will say sir, since you are discussing this problem in this context, it should be related to this. It's true. But learn this problem because in question some in net exam you may have or jam you may have this end question mark what will be the product four options are given if you don't know or better to say at this situation this case four options are given what the product so you may confuse so please learn it so what it prepares it resulted in bromination but when the, it is a dying so there is a competition one four versus one two but the, here 1 for because 1 for is thermodynamically favored. So what it result ultimately 1 for addition. This so 1 for addition means 1 bromine here, 1 bromine here. Since it's 1 for this is so this is actually 1 for addition. So in next step, what is happened? This is dibromide 5. Obviously. And along with that, two molecules of HBr will be produced. Okay, fine. No, 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 no. So then, then you take pyridine. So, this dibromide is isolated. So, don't get confused with this HBr. So, this dibromide is isolated and reacted with pyridine. So, pyridine, we know this sp2 lone pair and this is actually, you can say, allylic CBr bond. So, susceptible for SN2 attack. So, we may think that attack and it will leave so in boil for both bromide this is possible so what will be the product the product is expected to look like this I am not writing this so similar and there should be bromide Two bromide, one from here, one from here. Fine. So this is two bromide. So if they ask the question, what is this? You have to say this. Don't be confused. In next step, what is if you put alkali? What is expected to happen? See, this is actually a cationic species attached, and if you put alkali, there is a chance of elimination because alkali they are acting as a base, so they are a proton. So first stage, what happens? First stage, alkali, for example, HO minus. This is HO minus, so this is X abstracted. So, what is the product? Let me write it on the above side. What is the product? Here, the product is this is the plus one proton. This proton is abstracted, so it will come here and it will leave as C. This is the cationic species. So, leaving group is neutral. So, leaving group it will leave facile. So, by the way, I want to mention I have already made very dedicated video about this substitution uh, uh, reactions. There is a separate playlist. Please visit that if you want to learn more. Fine. This is alkaline. In next step, what happens? See, here also there is another proton. So, what can happen? That alkali can abstract this alkali can abstract this proton. So, what it will result? So it will result minus charge here, this along with that, this pyridinium derivative. Fine, plus charge is here. And what is this? 
this is nothing but because this negative charge is resonance stabilized along with the ring. So this is this. So this is the way to preparation of the switch anion. Okay. So fine. Now, so what we have we have learned how to prepare this switch anion. Now we will discuss about a property of the switch anion that is dipole moment. But one interesting observation uh, we will discuss, which is a comparison between this PPH. For example, this PPH three has higher dipole moment than this nitrogen analog. Okay. So the <coughs> dipole moment value you can see. This has a dipole moment value thirteen point five compared to this seven, almost double. Question both are same. Why this is? And this is a very interesting question, maybe. So why this dipole moment is lower than this? This could be explained based on resonance. Okay. So if you see this, actually we should um, we can think that this is a negative charge. This is uh, sorry. This is a positive charge. This is. So if we draw this canonical form in this way, this this is the perineum plus minus charge. And similar story is for this one. So P P H three plus. Okay. Now you can see both case dipole moment is this, but one possible. So if this negative charge is delocalized in this ring, it's perfectly fine. But can it affect the analog ring? Because dipole moment is acting in this direction. Both here a little less means this direction is somehow hampered. And how it could be hampered? Some opposite thing on neutralization. Okay. See, nitrogen cannot expand its valency from four to five. Not possible. Four is maximum. Nitrogen can't do because it do not have energetically accessible vacant d orbital. Not possible. And second, for logical thing, if you think that sir, let's draw a canonical form. What? The canonical form is that let's put here and let's put here. Also, also four bonds. So if you draw it, this is this this. Now you can you can say sir that uh, this problem dipole moment is negotiated. But this is not the answer. The answer is that it's superior, high. We are not focusing on its high. We are focusing on its reduction in value. Second, see here you are destroying the resonance of both. That is the negative point because this ring was aromatic stable because of its aromaticity. But right now aromaticity is losing. So in this way you can't compare. So this is not a logical approach. So don't think in this way. So instead of that, then since we can't focus on anything here, let's focus on this. Okay, what is this? See, this phosphorus can extend its valency to five because of energetically accessible vacant d orbital. Okay, and this this phenomena provides the phosphorus the privilege to form a double bond. So, what does it mean? It means This along with P P H three P H P H P H this along with the double bond means this and why this phosphorus can one see here there is not a point of waste of resonance energy and phosphorus can form double bond because it can have pent it could be pent up element and that is the reason see this canonical form. Because of this canonical form, which has a significant contribution for this overall uh, reduction of charge spread species, that's why this dipole moment is seven point zero. Okay, so this is the thing. Now let's discuss some property or aromatic electrophilic substitution on this part. Okay, <clears throat> so let's discuss three problem means reactivity of these three. Okay. Actually, if you go little details, this cyclopenta dienyl moiety is actually a pi excess nucleus. What do I mean by that? See, I have previously uploaded videos about furan, thiophene, and pyrrole. Let's take one as furan. 
So, see here this is aromatic and this 5 atom including this oxygen 4 carbon enjoys 6 pi electron. If you compare this with benzene, benzene this 6 atom enjoys 6 electron. So, that was, for that perspective we can say this is a pi excess nucleus. Okay, electron rich pi excess and they are very reactive towards the aromatic electrolyte substitution. Similar, just think about this. See, this, there is a structural similarity. This is actually a lone pair, two electron. So, this is also pi excess nucleus. So, that is the background logic why I am doing this reaction on this moiety. Please be careful. So, similar like aromatic electrolytic substitution, this cyclopentadienyl also so that kind of reactivity. Fine. So, this is the background logic for this. Okay. So now, see, if, if you take 4 equivalent bromine and KOH, what is the product for this pyridinium derivative? So, since as I told that this is a pi excess nucleus and it undergo aromatic electrophilic substitution, so AES will happen and we know this BRBR can participate if that needs, nucleus is electron rich, no need of Lewis acid because they can also act Lewis acid because of this polarization. This is delta plus, this is delta minus. Consequently, what happened? This. So, better to write in this fashion. Let's take negative charges here. So, what it can do? It can attack here and it can open. So, what it will result? This with a BR. This is a hydrogen, previously there is a hydrogen, fine, and along with this, pyridinium part. Okay, I am not writing it in this way, fine. This, and what it resulted, in next step what is expected for aromatic electric substitution, that someone will abstract this, so negative charge can come here. So, that is, that happens. And what it results, it results the similarly anion generation, like the previous one, and abstraction of this proton is far more easier. Because it was attached to this bromide, because of the minus side effect of bromide. Fine. So now it is again an aromatic thing. So what is actually produced during the process? One molecule of HBr. Actually, let me electrophilic substitution, substitution of proton with bromine. So this is HBr. So similar process happens, and ultimately what it result? Ultimately, what it, it result? Four substitution of four proton. Why it stops here? Because there is no proton. Simple. So, 4 domination happens. That's why 4 HBr is produced, and for that purpose, KOH is given, which can consume the HBr. Now, question if KOH is absent, what we can think? We can, at these circumstances, we think that if HBr is a very strong acid, so there is a chance that this anion may be protonated. So, in order to avoid that thing, and get the facile aromatic electrolyte substitution. So this. So ultimate product is actually better to write this minus the four promo substitution. This is actually purely aromatic electrolyte substitution. Okay, fine. <clears throat> now think about this problem. So as I told that actually this is actually a carbon ion. So whenever if you deal a carbon ion, if you put D2O, D2O means this. Actually, water, heavy water. So, expected to be quenched. Fine, let's quench it. So, this proton is abstracted. So, what it resulted? It resulted, this is a proton. This is a deuterium. Be careful when you are dealing with such type of problem. Don't confuse about proton and deuterium. There is an important thing. So, this is the plus charge. Fine. And in medium, what is there? In medium, OT is there which acts as a base. So what it can do? It can add to abstract this proton and regenerate the molecule again. So chemically they are almost similar. If you think about the chemically, because they are also similar, but the bond strength of this CD is more compared to the COH. Fine. So this thing, and as I told, this resonance, these negative charges delocalize means I can think that. In next turn, because of its chemical form, it will provide, it will open. So, the negative charge, I can draw the canonical form in this way. 
that minus charge is here this so similarly similar process a proton will be attached to this this fine sorry deuterium then what is expected negative charge can come here but this place will not be deuterium substitution because there is no proton which can counter back the electricity so instead of this it can come here it can open so what is the pro um, negative charge so the negative charge is here so next time deuterium will be attached here similarly negative charge will come here so what is the final product the final product is a deuterium substitution product deuterium substitution there should always be plus i made mistake so this is the minus so actually for deuterium substitution so in this way now you may consider sir is it really happen actually it really happens because these d2o when you take you take in excess so if you think from statistical point of view all will be substituted okay fine this so and let's discuss about this example this example if you take diazonium salt diazonium salt is an electrophile why because this ph in in plus it's an electron deficient species so what can happen some nucleophile can attack this position and open up this di as a compound like you have seen this di uh, azo di derivative similar like that so what happens so anywhere it actually in this case mono substitution happened and what it resulted it resulted i am not explaining the mechanism completely aromatic electrolytic substitution it is so it resulted this in 2ph okay this is the so this is the minus charge so fast aromatic electrolytic substitution they can then proton elimination ultimately result in this now question why bf4 because first of all bf4 salt is stable second this is non nucleophilic non basic okay that is the reason bf4 is chosen so fine so this is the uh, discussion okay by the way i forget to give you one information about acidity so let's give you the example uh, so that example is if you take this derivative this derivative this is tetracyan cn cn this this double bond ch3 ch3 here this molecule shows more acidity compared to the corresponding other double bond analog actually which part is showing this exceptional acidity which part this ch okay why so as i told this is showing acidity then i have to think about the stability of its conjugate base what is the conjugate base so minus h so let's discuss in this way this CH two minus this is CH three and this is CN 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 this 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 so this is the conjugate base plus one proton so now we have to think about the stability of conjugate base how this conjugate base is stabilized because of resonance how this comes here and this comes here so what is the canonical form the canonical form is negative charge is here and you can think that this is ch2 this is ch3 fine this 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 cn 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 fine so and actually this is the thing because this negative charge is also delocalized in the ring fine this is this is the reason means because of delocalization the negative charge is stabilized that's why is showing significantly higher acidity by the way keep another point in mind see there are four cyan groups they also helps to stabilize this so this is also an important factor generally while we write in the manuscript mm, exam we don't consider those point but for your understanding i believe you must also know about these points this substitution 
this is also an important thing because why this is an example which was done in some laboratory why those scientists have chosen this example because they want to stabilize this that's the reason they put the electron withdraw inside okay okay so this is the overall discussion about the reactivity dipole moment so acidity regarding the cyclopenta dienyl anion because this is resonance stabilized and since it's resonance stabilized it's unique compared to traditional ch bond it's acidic there are some other examples of uh, this uh, cyclopenta dienyl derivative there is metal complex those ferrocene cobaltocene those thing which we will discuss some other videos so this is the end of this discussion thank you for watching my video if you think this video is helpful for you please help me to grow my channel first of all subscribe my channel chemistry the mystery of molecule and press the bell icon to get the notification of every single video i upload secondly share this video among your friends so that many people could be benefited from my effort and most importantly please like the video and make some good comments because your comments are the inspiration for me but if you think there is Uh, there is a need of some modification improvement please mention that in the comment box also so your criticism or suggestion is uh, one of the most important thing for me for improvement in future such that both of us could be benefited so thank you again stay happy stay blessed god bless you